Hi everyone! If you're somebody who dreams of becoming a flight attendant and Emirates Airline is one of your dream airlines, then you need to know these 10 things before applying. If you're someone who's new to this channel, my name is Mayville. I used to work for Emirates Airline. I was a cabin crew for 12 years and I worked in the first class cabin for more than 7 years. Okay, so let's get started. Again, if you're somebody who wants to be a flight attendant, I believe working for Emirates is going to be one of the most memorable experiences you will have in your life. The years that I spent with Emirates were all defining years and hopefully working for Emirates Airline will be a great experience for you. So you could be somebody who knows someone who works for Emirates, maybe a relative or a friend or a friend of a friend, or maybe you could be someone who just heard about Emirates and you know how amazing Emirates is as an airline and you want to know more about it. In this episode, I will be sharing to you the 10 things. There are actually more, but I will be sharing these 10 things first about what you need to know regarding Emirates. And this is before you apply. So here are the 10 things you need to know before applying for Emirates Airlines. Number one, where you will live. Your base will be in Dubai United Arab Emirates. So if you are somebody who lives outside the country, then you would need to fly and move to Dubai. So this means that you would have to say goodbye for now to friends and family or loved ones. In my case, I was 21 years old when I said goodbye to my family. If I may tell you, the day I departed, my dad and I at the airport were crying, were crying. However, it didn't take long before I saw them again. Number two, your accommodation. Once hired, Emirates will provide for you an accommodation for free. And this is just one of the things that Emirates will provide for you for free. This apartment could be a two-bedroom, three-bedroom, or four-bedroom apartment. With that said, you would need to share this apartment with other crew. In my case, I lived in a three-bedroom apartment. The apartment that Emirates provides are semi-furnished. Once you arrive, you will see a couch, a dining table, gas range, fridge, washing machine. You will have your own room. You will also have your own toilet. Emirates will provide for you a bed, a cabinet, a mattress, duvet also, and some free stuff like iron, iron board, some cooking utensils, plates, forks, and so much more. So again, Emirates will provide that for you for free. Number three, you will be living with people of different nationalities, not necessarily the same as yours. So most probably you're thinking, oh, I want to be a cabin crew because I want to meet new people. Then living in your accommodation itself would mean meeting and mingling with people of different nationalities. You'll only know who your flatmates are and where they are from once you arrive in the accommodation. So surprise, surprise! I may share, during my time, I arrived in Dubai around 4 o'clock in the morning or 5 o'clock in the morning. And by 6, the driver was already dropping us off in our different accommodations and I arrived in my accommodation again it was a three-bedroom apartment and then I found out that day that my flatmates were Korean and Spanish and they were not new they have been in the company for more than three years already so again you will never know who your flatmates are and where they are from until you arrive in the accommodation so with that said you really really hope that you will mingle and get along with your flatmates very well because if you get along then that would really make your transition easier easier and smoother. Number four, you will only be provided a single accommodation once you reach a certain grade or position. As I said earlier, once you arrive, you could be placed in a two-bedroom, three-bedroom, or a four-bedroom apartment. And you might be wondering, will I ever get to have a place of my own? Meaning it's going to be your sole apartment. Yes, you will. The rules keep changing, but during my time, once you become a first-class cabin crew, you can actually request for a single accommodation. And again, they change it only if you are a supervisor, then you can live in a single accommodation. And then again, they change it if you become a business class crew which is the next step after economy crew then you can already live out so again it depends the rules keep changing with regards to the question of whether you can live alone or in a single accommodation yes you can but that will depend on Emirates because again the rules keep changing however if you're somebody who decides to get married and you want to live out because most probably your wife or your husband is already in Dubai or you plan to bring your spouse in Dubai well then yes you can ask Emirates if you can move out Emirates will then provide for you an accommodation allowance. Your accommodation allowance will depend 
on your grade. In economy, business, first class crew, your accommodation allowance will be the same. Once you become a cabin crew supervisor, your allowance will increase tremendously. And once you become a purser, which is the managerial level, again, your accommodation allowance will increase. And also before I forget, if Emirates hires you and you're already staying in company accommodation, however, you also have family members who are in Dubai, it could be your sibling or your parents, and you want to live with them, you can actually tell Emirates also that you want to live with them. And Emirates is quite lenient when it comes to that. Emirates will permit you to live out. And again, Emirates will provide for you an accommodation allowance. In my case, after two years and two months staying in company accommodation, I moved out because I got married and my husband was also in Dubai. Number five, when you start training, Emirates will transform you to become a one person band so really you have to be very very sharp because during your training you will eat you will drink you will sleep you will breathe Emirates. Emirates will train you how to handle emergency procedures, medical cases, security incidences, and so much more. You will have a lot of practical assessments and also computer-based exams. So I tell you, you will really need to be very sharp. On the brighter side, once you complete the training, you can really say you're a different person and you could face the world. Number six, you will be training in a simulator. The great thing with Emirates is that they are really advanced when it comes to technology. And also, they are really serious when it comes to training its cabin crew. So, you will be training in a simulated aircraft, which is something that's really good and something that I really admire about Emirates because all your practical exercises, your practical assessments will be inside that aircraft. So once you go online, everything will just flow naturally because again, you have already familiarized yourself inside the simulator. So going online will be a smooth transition. And speaking of simulator, while you are on training, one of the scenarios that you will be practicing also is slide in the slide raft during an emergency so prepare yourself because that slide is going to be very very high because I have also met crew who during the training and during our refresher course really when it's their time to jump and slide really they freeze you might be asking why they became crew or how they became crew well I don't know <laughs> number seven yes you will need to swim but don't worry, you don't need to formally know all the strokes, breaststrokes, backstrokes, butterfly strokes. You don't need to know all those. All you need to know is how to swim to get from this point to that point. I remember during my training, there was a ditching scenario. This is where you would need to land on water. So the scenario made us slide in the slide raft to swim. Emirates also has a swimming pool, a huge swimming pool. The instructor asked us to huddle and then swim to the slide raft. That's the only time I swam during my whole time with Emirates. So if you've been hearing things that you would need to do lapses, no, that's totally false. So let's move on to number eight. You cannot have leave while on probation and the probation is six months. So given that you've already finished your training, Emirates will now put you online. The rules keep changing. Back in my time, I could already go home. As soon as I finished training, I could have leave already. Before I left Emirates, what I know is the new joiners will not be granted leave if they have been in the company for less than six months. Feeling homesick during this time will be very, very common. So you need to toughen up. You must get through this. Homesickness is really real and some crew really don't make it. One month into flying, four months into flying, they say, you know what, I can't take homesickness anymore. They resign and they leave. Number nine, you will need to do a recurrent exam every year to renew your license. If you pass the training, you will have a license and that license will be valid for a year. In order for you to renew that license, you would need to have a refresher course. And this refresher course involves examinations and practical assessments. So it will be like training again and you will be doing that every year. And last but not the least, number 10. Your entry point will be as an economy crew or grade two. There are five cabin crew positions in Emirates, namely economy crew, business class crew, first class crew, cabin supervisor, and then the purser. As an economy crew, you will be exposed to 300 to 500 customers. But don't worry, you won't be taking care of those passengers alone. You will also be working with a lot of economy crew. 
During my time, I also had fun and happy memories when I was in economy. In my case, I stayed in economy for two years before I was promoted to business class. So there you go, guys. Those are the 10 things you need to know before applying. And hopefully, it gave you an added insight as to how it is to work for Emirates. And I will be sharing more, more things that you need to know, more things that you might want to know also. And I will be sharing that in the next coming episodes. So hopefully, you got something from this. As always, thank you very much for watching. Take care and stay safe. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!